But let's move on then to some earnings action. Capital first is in focus. Second quarter profits jumped to 46%. Revenues seeing an uptick of about 54%. Uh, uh, in line uh, really with what the street was estimating. But let's get a few more details. Then we have V. Vedyanathan, the executive chairman of the company, joining in for some more perspective. Thanks very much, uh, Mr. Vedyanathan. Always good to speak to you. Uh, talk to us about what kind of margins you saw in the quarter and uh, what kind of increase did you see on the cost of funding side of things? Because obviously that is an area of concern for the industry over Overall, were you able to pass that on or cover it up with higher yields? Uh, cost of funds for the last maybe six months have gone up by about 100 basis points across, across categories, whether they are CP, uh, bank borrowings or NCDs. And uh, therefore, incremental cost is more expensive about, uh, about that order. Now, as far as passing it on is concerned, it depends on market forces. Um, uh, some of it has been, some of it has not been. Uh, but more importantly, the, the net margin, net earnings, institution should not dramatically change uh, because there are certain benefits of scale that continues to come with growth. All right. So what is the margin number that we were looking at? And, uh, you know, considering that we're still in a quite a challenging environment as far as cost of funds go, uh, any sort of a number that you are factoring in for the end of the year on the margin front? Last quarter alone, the margin has come down on a blended basis, though incremental cost of funds have gone up by 100 basis points because the past book usually has a blend of old liabilities and the new liabilities. The impact on margin last quarter was about 13 basis points. All right, 13 basis points is the kind of pressure on the margin front. Uh, give us a little color about your asset quality, in, you know. In, in the right. quarter on a blended basis. All right, all right, point taken. Uh, if we talk about asset quality, you know, the number has seen an uptick uh, as far as gross NPAs go on a quarter on quarter basis. How much of this is an account of, you know, a change in accounting norms? Because I know that's something that has factored in uh, in the quarter. And uh, also, if you could tell us any points of concern, either in the lab portfolio or wholesale loans. Uh, what you're seeing is because of the change of accounting policy, but e of, of moving into NDAs. But even under NDAs, states three calculations, what we call is the equivalent of an NPA, uh, that is 1.94%, which we think is very good. And we're quite happy with the trend line of the last uh, eight years, in particular of the last uh, one year. Uh, uh, can you repeat a second question if you don't mind? No, essentially, I was just trying to understand if you're seeing any points of concern as far as asset quality goes. Okay, as far as points of concern uh, of, of any category, uh, generally we have not seen any specific category um, showing up with extremely high delinquencies or anything like that. Uh, loan against property, to answer a very specific question, uh, is uh, absolutely stable and it's been stable for many years at a stretch now. All right, so no concerns as far as the lab portfolio is concerned. There are, you know, some anecdotal, uh, uh, some anecdotal evidence about a slowdown in lending as far as NBFCs are concerned. What has been your experience at the moment? Or are you anticipating to see any sort of a degrowth, any particular area of your portfolio? Uh, you have seen our uh, numbers, so you can clearly see that year on year, quarter on quarter, uh, we are continuing to grow. Um, we are entirely open to business. Even for this quarter, we're really looking forward uh, to a very happy festive season. Uh, we we expect to disperse, uh, 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 you know, uh, quite strongly this quarter. So really, for, from our side, we are not seeing seeing any slowdown. Yes, uh, there have been, as you can see very well, that on the liability side of the of, of the borrowing side for NBFC sector as a whole, uh, there has been tightness so naturally the large NBFCs so which have um, you know a good image and the good practices in terms of asset liability continue to get the uh, uh, get the funds um, so that may be localized to certain smaller NBFCs all right any concern though about the corporate portfolio I'm only asking because you know we have been seeing uh, a number of NBFCs looking to actually sell down some of their portfolios are you looking at an option like that and also can we expect then you know this uh, over 25 percent growth to continue overall going into the end of the year straight question we expect this to 25 percent to continue to grow into the coming year as well so there is absolutely no change on that plan uh, whatsoever as far as the uh, portfolio buyout is concerned for us it's a regular activity we've been doing this continuously over the last you know maybe 25 to 30 odd quarters that process will continue uh, now from the nbfc industry point of view i think it will have an accelerated process these days because uh, most nbfcs i think are sitting on uh, good quality assets with the statistical behavior of asset quality and 
and I think that will be uh, pretty attractive for the uh, for the banking system to purchase. And you've seen the numbers, announcements coming from the State Bank of India and a few other banks uh, wanting to buy out these pools. So I think for the industry as a whole, that process will continue. All right. Where what is the liquidity position at the moment? As far as uh, you know, if you could just give, shed some light on your ALM for capital first. Uh, we ha we usually keep uh, either twice the amount of money that comes up for redemption in in short term paper in the form of a commercial paper etc. So I'm happy to say over uh, 2,000 crores of money is lying parked uh, with the banks in the form of fixed deposits or liquid mutual funds at any point of time. And uh, we are absolutely comfortable. In any case, you know, a couple of months from now we are converting to a bank, and uh, we are uh, and and therefore we get access to a banking platform the form of liabilities. So we are match, matching our asset liability in such a way that it moves seamlessly into a banking platform. So I can safely say to your viewers that there is uh, absolutely no concern on the front, uh, at least for capital first. I think even for, for the industry is concerned, uh, we will talk about it later in the show if you have the time, but I do think uh, uh, things will ease once the system starts coming into play. All right, expecting things to ease for the industry. I actually have a lot of questions, especially on the merger a couple of months from now. Uh, but we leave it at that completely out of time. Thanks very much, Mr. Mr. Vaidya Nathan. We'll, of course, uh, touch base once again and get a few more updates as far as how the company is doing as we speak. But with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Trending Today. Thank you so much for watching.